I know you can't see much, but it's wet, it's rainy, roads are slick, so I'm having to be careful. And apparently these people in front of me are being super careful because we're going really slow. We're going to try our best to have a good time tonight and uh, look around a little bit, and do a little riding, do a little stealth camping. Hopefully we don't get into any trouble. That wouldn't be good, but we're gonna go stealth camping. So, I guess what happens, happens. In this one, I've got my little buddy with me. Right there, that's Winnie, she's coming along. I'll tell you what town we're in now. Uh, we are in the town of Abingdon, Virginia. Right up here on the right is a big cemetery. Right out here to the right, there is a hill with a gate on it. That's the tomb of the unknown soldier. So that's a, that's a historical cemetery. I do not remember the name of it. But it's, my guess is it's probably Civil War Cemetery or something. Because Martha Washington Inn is on the right. And the Barter Theater is on the left. Both of those are excellent. As you can see right here on the right. Let's ride through. We're just going to take a trip through the Martha Washington Hotel. Because it's, it's pretty. We're here. We might as well look. No, I'm not staying here. I would get in trouble for stealth camping here, I'm pretty sure. But there you go, they got their lights out, they've got it decorated up a little bit. And then right there directly in front of us is the Barter Theater. It's a fun place to visit. It is an old, old theater. It's all the history of it but it's an old theater look it up uh, do a little research and then come to Virginia and come to Abington Virginia and see it all right right up here on the right is an old house that I absolutely love it was for sale for a while uh, it was built in the 1800s. It's got an original log cabin in the back, and they rebuilt everything on it. It's an absolutely gorgeous house. We'll turn this corner and look at it, too. It's right, right there in front of us. There you go. This wasn't going to be a history tour, but... And if you go down here, this is... This is the area where the Virginia Creeper Trail comes into Abingdon. And then dumps you right into town. All right, that right in front of us on the right is the original old log cabin. That's an old, old cabin. Or, well, it's not a log cabin, it's a, it's a brick building but it's it's an old original original building and if you go inside uh, everything's all original inside it it was the original site of Black's Fort and then right here on the right is the tavern we've just passed it but it was a hospital uh, it was I think it was private home it's been about everything uh, but for the longest it's been called the tavern and it's a pretty good steakhouse 
it, it's really really old uh, there's still still has the old mail slot in the door from back in Civil War era, Civil War era and uh, it may have a couple bullet holes in the door but it's a pretty cool place we are almost to the location where I am gonna grab a car uh, I have to come clean uh, I am gonna steal a car but it is my wife's car she has no idea that I'm here she's working tonight and I am almost to her workplace That white car over there is the one we're going to grab, so I'm going to try to ease it out of here without getting caught. Uh, actually, I'm going to have to pull it over here and throw some stuff in it real quick, but hold on, here we go. Got everything thrown in the car and we are leaving. And I am gonna find somewhere to camp. So we'll see if I get caught or if I don't. That is to be determined. It's gonna be a brutal night for a camp. There's a lot of rain. But we're gonna do it. All right, y'all, I am not going to camp here tonight uh, because I've got my little buddy with me and it is raining and my tent is too small for me and her both because when we're in that little tiny tent, she sleeps on my chest and I don't get any sleep. So we're car camping tonight, but I just wanted to show you, uh, I found Grave Digger's spot where he done his Cabela's camp. Um, he actually camped right there. Uh, so let's see. We're going. We're going to take a look around here. We're just going to take a look at look at his his spot. Well, my spot, his spot. I looked at it, and then he camped it. So I guess it's technically his spot. But I'm still going to come back and camp here. But it's at a closed down Cabela's. And this is at the falls in Bristol, Virginia. If you haven't seen that camp, go check out Gravedigger's site, Gravedigger's channel, and watch his Cabela's camp. That's a good camp. He camped. Uh, you can't even see it. It's too dark. But he camped right behind those bushes. So we're going we're gonna to walk around. Uh, I wanted to see how far it was between these poles because I want to hang my hammock here one day. But it is right above the interstate. Oh, there's a gate there to get between the fence and the wall. Hmm. But yeah, I'll show you. Grave digger, you remember this? He camped right behind those bushes right there. I found his spot. 
Okay, y'all. I am at my stealth spot. Um, there's still some action around here, so I'm sitting in the car. I don't think there will be a lot of people here, but if somebody happens to ride through, uh, I have no covers for these windows, and there's lights everywhere. So I'm just hoping that people think it's just a parked car and they don't decide to investigate. Because if they do, they can see right straight in the window and see me. But I am going to sit here a little bit and I may jump back here and get camp set up. Because that is step one. According to Steve Wallace, that is step one. And then after that, I may have my version of a step two. Which, according to Cushion the Bush, is a stealth Pepsi. So, I'll take care of step one. Take care of step two. Somewhere in there, I may eat a bite. Uh, fix me a little bit of dinner. And uh, see if this place clears out a little bit more. And... Uh, kind of watch this spot I'm in. I may have to move. I'm not sure, but everything's lit up pretty good. I don't know. The rain may help me, though. Uh, we'll just have to see. But I am backed in. I've got the back end open right now. You can see I'm backed in at the bushes. But I'm going to get camp set up and uh, see what happens. That's the only thing about this tiny pump. It's convenient, but it's not very stealthy. change of plans here. We're turning around. That's perfect. I'm out here. It's still raining, but white car, not very stealthy in this parking lot. See if we can get a fire going. Gotta boil some water. Hopefully that don't take too long. All right, we're good there. We've got camp all set up in the back. I am cooking my meal, which is Mountain House Adventure Meals Beef Stew. Okay, I've never had the beef stew before, but Grant with GM Outdoors says it tastes like what your grandma would make. So, Grant, you made me want to try it. I think, up to right now, I think chicken and dumplings is the best. You need to try that. But, you talked about this beef stew so well, uh, made me want The reason why I'm out on this camp tonight, in the rain, in the car, uh, is because of the challenge for December for the Stealth Camping Alliance. So, hashtag, so, let's see, there we go. Hashtag, I don't know how a millionaire Paul does that. But anyway, uh, hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance and hashtag Holiday Stealth Camp 2023.
believe that's right. If not, it's Holiday Stealth 2023. But I'm pretty sure it's Holiday Stealth Camp 2023. I'll put it right here on the screen. Uh, and that challenge was given out by Kevin from Kevin's Camping Adventures. But uh, I wanted to say thank you, Kevin, for the challenge. And I hope hopefully this ticks the boxes so uh he said it has to be a stealth camp you have to hashtag it uh stealth camping alliance you have to hashtag it holiday stealth camp 2023 and then you need to tell one thing you're grateful for and why so one thing that i'm grateful for is the stealth camping alliance always it's the Stealth King of the Lines. Um, and what I'm grateful, why I'm grateful for the Stealth Camping Alliance is because my wife's working tonight. I could be sitting at home, just me and the dog, just sitting there watching other people on YouTube. Uh, being bored, not doing anything just at home by ourselves but uh, thanks to Josh with Hidden Hammock Paul with Cushion the Bush and uh, Taran Studios I believe it is they started the Stealth Camping Alliance uh, and it has gone Pretty much worldwide but we are a worldwide family and the camaraderie between all of the creators in the Stealth Camping Alliance is amazing um, it's like a worldwide family that everyone enjoys everyone gets along uh, we all have fun. We all support each other. And uh, that's pretty much the the family aspect of it is pretty much what I'm grateful for. Uh, so I am grateful for the Stealth Camping Alliance and why is the pretty much the family aspect of it. And it gets me out of the house. I'm out on Stealth Camp getting ready to eat some beef stew. So We'll take a bite, see how it is, see if Mr. Grant with GM Outdoors was right. Yeah, it's, it's beef stew. So I see carrots and peas, gravy, let's see. Yep, there's some beef in it. So yeah, that's beef stew. It's gonna burn me up. It's hot. Uh oh. I hear a helicopter. That means they're they're not gonna be happy at the hospital. Oh well. It's pretty good. I'll give it to him. It's pretty good. It's it don't taste like just your normal normal freeze dried meal. It actually actually turned out good. Grant, I do think that the chicken and dumplings is better because they are just amazing. The chicken and dumplings is amazing. This is pretty good though. Hmm. There you go. I 
I love food. But I don't think any, anyone talks about food the way Grant does. So a little recap on what we've done so far tonight. Um, I left home. I drove about an hour to steal a car. And no, stealing cars is illegal and you shouldn't do it. But my name happens to be on the title on this one. It's my wife's car. And I have a set of keys to it. So I showed up at her workplace and stole her car. I parked my truck, I stole her car because I needed more room for me and Miss Wanny to stealth camp. Uh, I didn't quite get away with it because thanks to a new feature on the, the new update with Apple, she figured out she could go to Messenger and track where I am. So, right after I stole her car and I loaded all my stuff in it and I was headed out, she texted me and said, what are you doing at my work? So I got busted. Big time. And uh, so as I was leaving, I told her I wasn't at her work. And she said that it showed I was in the parking lot. So yeah, I got busted. So I had to explain what I was doing. So yeah, I got, I got busted stealing a car. But I didn't go to jail because my name's on top. And by the way, if you are a fan of my rambling and the shenanigans I get into and the content that I create, make sure you subscribe, like, share. Uh, don't cost a thing and it goes a long way to support the channel. And I am trying to grow my channel. So anybody that subscribes, unless your account is private and I can't see who you are, if it pops up that you subscribe to my channel, I subscribe to yours. So if you want subscribers, subscribe to the Hammock Mountain channel. You'll get a subscriber. All right. I'm finished with my dinner. So, step one's done, camp set up, so it's time for step two, cushion the bush style, stealth Pepsi. <sighs> Always good. And to top everything off, we've got a Louisiana Crunch Cake. And if you want to know what the, all the hype is about those, check out Tony at Random Adventures 2.0. And you'll understand. That's the thing. Louisiana Crunch Cake. Louisiana Crunch Cake. All that crunch. Look at that. Go get you one. Walmart. 74 cents. Or at least that's what I paid. Okay, y'all, uh, it's time to call it a night. Just slip away into dreamland 
and let the alarm wake us up in the morning. So uh, I'm thinking about getting up about daylight. Hopefully this rain will quit. Uh, I can actually get out and cook some breakfast, maybe. Sit down, girl. Sit down. It's time to go to bed, not run around, okay? All right. She's a little restless, so we're going to go to bed. Call it a night. We'll be back with you in the morning. Good night, Winnie. Good night, girl. Good night. Sleep good, okay? All right. Good night, guys. Come on, girl. Good morning. Good morning, Bear Bear. Did you sleep good? Okay. Do you want some water? All right, come on. All right, here you go. Right here. Come here. Right here. Come here. Get your water. Come on. Here you go. No, no. Nope. Come here. Come here. Okay, you can't have that, so let's go. Come on. So much for water. All right, guys. Uh, it looks like a, a wrap for this one. I'm finally awake. We're out here. Things are moving this morning. It's actually uh, around 6.30, 6.35. So I'm going to get out of here and... Uh, Return this car, and go recover my truck, go to the house. But it was another successful stealth camp. It was a little different for me. 
I've never, I've kept in my truck, but I've never kept in a car. Uh, once I got in there, it wasn't too bad. All right, this one is wrapped up just as soon as I can return this car. Pick up my truck. I'm going to go to the house. Uh, my wife gets off work at 7, so this car has to be there by the time she gets off work. So, thank you for coming along. And uh, just want to remind you, if you're not a subscriber, just remember to subscribe like share it's free it all helps and uh, i do appreciate your support so with that i'm gonna wrap this up my name's daniel and you've been watching hammer mountain have a good one